Okay, so this is obviously kissing 101 when it comes to Gen Z. So basically, when you're going to go in and kiss someone, according to this person, you have to literally dislocate your jaw and then eat their face, apparently. <laughs> what is this video, man? <laughs> Do you know what? I'm sat here watching this and I don't even know what to say. I feel like I need a shower after watching that. Like, what? Why would you make this video? Why? Like, what are you? Why? Why are you doing this? Come on. Like, just don't, don't make these type of videos. Oh, stop it. In this episode of Fat Phobia on TikTok, I take on the fat face filter. Just in case you didn't know, that's fat phobic as Yeah, that's cool and everything. But hey, guys, check out this picture of my cat. Look at how cute she looks. She has a little Santa hat on. I'll finish the video, but yeah, check out the cat. Yeah, stop doing it. Will you just shut up? Sorry about that, guys. Here's the picture of my cat again. <laughs> it's a filter. Get a grip and just get in the bin. Stop doing it. Men are not meant to be dominant. Men are meant to be submissive. They're meant to be worker ants. They're supposed to listen to women because men do not have the ability to think for themselves. Oh my god, is anyone else just so tired of people caring too much about what the other genders are doing or simply not liking someone based on their gender? I mean, bro, how does this guy even brush his teeth? I'm not listening to someone who can't brush their teeth to stop all the absolute spaghetti coming out his mouth. Just shut up. Go outside, touch a tree. Okay, I don't think I really need to explain to anyone why this is pretty bad. Your child, your baby has come into hospital because they can't breathe on their own and you decide to do a TikTok dance to explain what's going on. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? I mean, the worrying thing is, these cringy kids are growing up and having kids. I wish I could see this kid's reaction when he's older to find his mom dancing over the fact He's unwell. Just, I mean, imagine your doctor diagnosing something to you while doing the WAP dance. You know, from the top, make it drop. You have diabetes. Okay, seriously, who is impressed by this? Who sees this and thinks, wow, well, these girls clearly are impressed. Just look at their reaction when he tears their shirts off. He looks like a discount Harry Styles. Those knees, I must say, do be looking mighty weak if I do say so myself. Knees weak, mom spaghetti over here. Like, I'm not even joking here. The video cuts off, but he barely gets these girls off the ground. And his knees do be acting like weak spaghetti. Oh no. Cringe, eh? Right, welcome back everybody. I hope everyone had a very nice Christmas and a happy new year. Today we're going to be starting off the new year on this channel by looking at some cringe because you all seem to really like me just burning my eyes out. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the video as it really helps me out and it lets me know you guys are actually enjoying this content that I'm putting out. It is absolutely free as well and you can leave whenever you want. Okay then, let's begin. Let's watch some cringe, guys. Get ready. Get your peepees hard. Oh no. Cringe, eh? Okay, so this clip here is of a girl who has gotten the wrong phone for Christmas and she's pretty upset about it. I'm not sure if this was over Christmas or not, but still, she needs to get in the bin. Just watch. Bruh, I'm not even being funny or complaining here, but for Christmas, I got some socks and I was buzzing about it. I don't want to see people in the comments calling me a house elf from Harry Potter because I was excited to get some socks. But imagine being this ungrateful for getting a toaster. I mean, phone. <laughs> Android has bad quality camera. Me iPhone, Chad. But what did you all get for Christmas, by the way? How do you feel seeing this girl be upset over the fact she got an Android and not an iPhone? I mean, I want to find and read comments and see who ever got the worst or best present for Christmas.
Boys, this is an urgent announcement. This little peanut is out here and he's trying to steal our girlfriends. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. I'm a moonshine, set for straight, slipping in the darkness. Oh, can you see into my eyes? My hope in I bet we'll have flying cars by 2020. Meanwhile, 2021. Demi Lovato sings to ghosts to help them overcome spaghetti caused by spaghetti in a past life. <laughs> Good on you, Demi Lovato. You just you just keep doing whatever you're doing. I mean, I don't personally get it, but yeah, you yeah, you just you just yeah, okay, Demi. <laughs> I mean, I can only imagine what that would be like in like the news. Like Demi Lovato goes from being a singer to a ghost hunter therapist. I mean, I can imagine all the critics when there's no ghosts around would just be like, She's really good. This next clip here is peak Gen Z. I'm just saying. I mean, we're getting to the point in life where you would ask for a pet from your parents and they would come home with this. I don't really know what's worse, it's the fact that this is probably a grown man who's pretending to be a dog and actually doing this, not even in a satirical way, or the fact he's actually put pretty realistic, well, realistic dog noises over the video. Like, dude, what are you doing? Go and just go outside. <coughs> guess what we just did. I mean, I can hardly guess what you guys might have done, but not even post nut clarity could save this guy from the absolute just abomination this picture is. I mean, just look at, look at his smug face. She does not look happy, but this guy, if you ever have a friend who sends you a picture like this, he ain't going far in life. I just really hope that this type of selfie doesn't catch on and become a thing amongst Gen Z. It would be so uncomfortable having your mates show you their holiday pictures and it's just like, hey, guess what we just did before this picture? It would be absolutely mental. Like, it's bad enough that people take pictures of their breakfast, because if you did that back in the 90s and showed a picture of your friends what you'd had for breakfast, you would have been absolutely mental. So let's just hope that this trend or whatever this is doesn't catch on. Now that this sound is trending and being critiqued, rightfully so, I have one thing to say. If you are not a black mask presenting lesbian, you are not a stud. Stop saying that. Way too many white lesbians are using the term stud to tag themselves under the sound on TikTok. You are not a stud because you are not black. Is this a thing? I always thought a stud was a horse or someone who's just a total chad. Stud is a specific colloquial LGBT term used for black mask presenting lesbians. Great. Glad we had that talk. Goodbye. Since when did it become being gatekeeped by a certain community? And even within that community, you can't call people it because they're not it? I, I don't know, man. You can't say anything nowadays, unfortunately. People just need to chill out and honestly just mind their own business. Oh no. Cringe, eh? Ah, Gen Z. They never cease to amaze me with just what they can come up with. But I think that is enough cringe for me today. I've heard enough. I've seen enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could like and subscribe, it really helps me out because it lets me know if you're enjoying the videos or not. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.